Hi guys, it's going to be a video on how to modify your air compressor to have a remote switch. So this is the compressor I got. It's one from Anaconda. I think it was about 100 bucks, And it's just got the local switch on here. So you just turn that on and the, the thing just starts pumping. So what I want to do is install it down there underneath the, the floor and then have a switch up on here to turn this compressor on and off. So I'll show you how to do that now. What we want to do is is basically tap into this switch. So that'll be a low current switch, uh, probably switch in a relay or something inside. So we'll open it up and see what it does. To get this cover off, it's just four screws. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna to have to take this uh, hose pipe off as well. Now I've got the hose pipe and the four screws off. And this plate just pops away. And with a big, bit of a wriggle that pops off. So you can see in there, all it's really got is a, a circuit breaker, a relay, and at the back there is a switch. So I'll pull that out. Down here you can more clearly see the switch up there. So these things are generally pretty simple. That's this one here is just switching to ground. So if you I'll put up a schematic. This is an overview of the compressor, or the, at least the internals. So on mine, I've added an Anderson plug, but the power comes in there, goes through a circuit breaker, through a relay, which is switched, and then to the motor. Looking at the schematic, so again, the, on mine, it's the Anderson plug. The 12 volt comes in through the circuit breaker. When it gets to the relay, the power is in the unenergized state, goes to nowhere. You can see here, here's the compressor switch. So the power is piggybacked off, and this is the switching circuit of the relay, to this, to this side of the switch. So you've got 12 volts in there. When you close the circuit of the switch, that then energizes this coil, which causes the relay to change state, and you've got power driven to the motor. So on your one, you want to unplug on this side of the compressor switch, so that's the side coming from the relay. And then you want to add in the jumper wire and this will also piggyback off the ground wire and then that's where you'll add it into your switch and all your switch has to do is switch to ground so on the relay you got the the main dc power in on that one and it's looped in to the control side of the relay and the other side of that goes to this switch which switches to ground so you can just add in some wires and all that has to do is just touch the ground of the of the vehicle and that'll switch the relay. So you can do that in parallel to keep this switch and just add an external one as well. So I'll remove this switch. I should mention as well, this modification doesn't affect any of this wiring whatsoever. It's a plug-in mod and at any stage you can you can put it back to how it was the only permanent modification will be a hole in this housing this is the mod cable the remote cable that i've made up so all it is is, is just a straight feed through for the local switch so they're 6.3 mil spade terminals and then i've just cut a piece of wire i'm not sure how long that has to be yet but you only need one because you're switching it to ground the power side to switch the relay will come in on on your main power connector to the compressor the way you want to identify which wire you need to connect your jumper lead into is to find out which wire is coming from the relay so you can see it comes on this this terminal via the main power and when there's when it's switched to ground on this side when that touches ground that actuates the relay and drives power to the to the compressor so this is the one you want to tap into to have your switch in parallel for remote. Gonna connect that between from the relay 
to that jumper and then that'll go to the switch. And that's it. So it's just a, a jumper cable really. Uh, what I'm going to do is just wrap some tape around this, the exposed bit, so it doesn't accidentally turn on if it touches something. And then I'll drill a hole and run this wire through and that'll be my remote switch. And my adapter cable's in there. Blue one and this is my remote switch. So what I want to do now is just decide where I'm going to drill a hole. So this one's already got small drain holes in the bottom. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to tap, just drill a hole in the bottom there. I've got my hole now. I'm going to run my cable through that. I've done an extra big hole because I'm just going to run a bit of cot tube just through the hole just to give the, the wire a bit of edge protection. You can also use electrical tape or heat shrink, whatever you want really. The modification to the compressor now is, is done. I'm just going to reassemble the, the relay and the circuit breaker back in. So this is the whole, just run a bit of cot tube. And that's my wire there, which I'll, I'll wire in to the car a bit later. But you only need the one for this, because as I said, the, the power for the to switch the relay comes from your main connector. Because this is a hose fitting with high pressure air, I'm just going to wrap some of this this uh, tape around the thread there. And the modification's complete. So that's the, the blue wire there is the one that I've added in. That's gonna be my remote switch. You can see here that's the cot tube right down the bottom. So I'm not gonna get any dirt or anything in there. It looks kinked, but it's just the cot tube because this wire is quite small. Maybe you wanna put your hole a bit more to that side. So I'll, I'll install that now and test it. Now I've completed the mod, I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'll mount that later. This this is the feed from my main battery, which will connect up to my second one. And just for demo. So now I've got power on the at the compressor now from my main battery. You can see the switch is off. So all I have to do now is with my signal wire, just touch anywhere that's ground. This can be pretty much anything. It's wherever you pick a ground from. That's it, that's that's the mod. All I need to do now is wire that into a switch. It switches to ground and, and that's the remote compressor. And just one other thing, even though this is a parallel switch, so even though I've got this signal wire to switch it, the local switch still works. So you can keep that off all the time and just have your remote switch.